When someone first uses methamphetamine, the drug quickly enters the brain. At low doses, meth blocks the re-entry of dopamine into the presynaptic cell, just like cocaine does. But unlike cocaine, higher doses of meth can increase the release of dopamine from the cell, leading to much, much more dopamine in the synapse, where it becomes trapped because meth prevents the transporters from removing it. Because so much dopamine remains in the synapse for such long periods of time, the postsynaptic cell is activated to dangerously high levels, causing the user to experience powerful feelings of euphoria, making meth incredibly addictive. Using cocaine or meth has far-reaching consequences on the brain. Drugs alter how the reward center communicates with the rest of the brain, affecting emotions, movement, reasoning, and decision-making. The repeated, frequent use of these drugs can change the actual wiring throughout the brain. These changes will eventually prevent a chronic user from feeling the same euphoria they experienced when first using the drug. Instead, they need to take the drug just to feel normal, and they feel compelled to take it, no matter the consequences. This is when chronic drug use becomes an addiction.